Good morning, this is Teacher Christopher and today I'm going to give you a demonstration of that lovely poem Sounds by Irene Rawnsley. This is for the Hong Kong Speech Festival. I will just record uh, the first line so you can hear my English pronunciation and hopefully you will then get in touch with me so that I can record the poem for you. Okay, let me tell you a little bit more about myself. I am a native English speaker, a lawyer, a former school governor in the UK and a former university lecturer. I have been in Hong Kong for nine years. I have many years experience teaching public speaking and presentation skills to both adults and children and I can teach you any verse or reading for the Hong Kong Speech Festival. I will record myself saying the piece in perfect English uh, with good pronunciation and enunciation and I will also do a recording of the poem with good intonation so that you can give a really interesting performance and what you can then do is listen to the two recordings time and time again first of all to get your English accent sounding really good and secondly to learn how to deliver a poem so that your audience loves to listen okay so let's have a look at the poem this poem is called Sounds by Irene Rawnsley. Now, the first recording I will do will be of the whole poem with really good pronunciation and enunciation. And you can copy the way I speak the words. Many people say that you don't need a good English accent for the speech festival, but I do disagree. It is a speech festival and you are entering the English speaking section. So isn't it going to sound better if you have a really good English accent? Let me give you an example of the first recording I will do. Sounds. The tiniest sound in the world must be. Okay, I will do the whole poem like that so that you can really know how to pronounce the words. And then I will do a second recording in which I will use what we call intonation. Here is a demonstration, just an example. Sounds by Irene Rawnsley. The tiniest sound in the world must be and then I will do the rest of the poem for you and you can listen to both of the recordings many many times and make sure that you give your very best performance at the Hong Kong Speech Festival. It is also important to remember that the people listening to you, the audience and the adjudicators will be watching you to see your facial expressions, your body language and your gestures. If you need some one-on-one -on -one coaching on that from me, do please let me know. Just write to me at hongkongspeechfestival at gmail.com. Okay, I wish you the very best of luck. Goodbye for now.